Hello guys, uh, this is Jay. So for this video, I want to uh, kind of show you guys how to break the uh, Excel worksheet password. So this is something that I'm always uh, hesitate to do unless it's very necessary. And I just want to say that uh, don't try to break password on um, an Excel file that you do not own. So let's say if you download a commercial uh, Excel workbook and the Excel workbook is uh, worksheet protects. To be honest, those are the ownership of the person who created the uh, Excel file and the person may spend hundreds of hours to create something that uh, trying to make a passive income. So only do this when it's very necessary. So now let's go into details on uh, how you can uh, break the worksheet password in Excel. So I'm using uh, Office 2016. So Excel 2016 is the Excel version that I'm using. And this will basically apply to every single version of Excel. So here I have a, um, a Excel file and I have two worksheets and uh, worksheet uh, A and customer worksheet. And both worksheets are uh, passport protect. So if I try to type something and I'll get the message saying that the cell chart you are trying to change is on a protect worksheet. And to make a change, I need to uh, enter the password and unprotect the worksheet. And as far as you know, for worksheet A, it is also a worksheet protect. And to break the password, first of all, let me close. So you want to close the Excel file and make sure that the Excel file is saved uh, on your hard drive. And here's the uh, Excel file. So the first step is uh, make a copy of the Excel file. So that way that when you uh, corrupt the Excel file, at least you know you have a copy. And next you want to go to home. So um, so for the default, uh, you don't have the extension name uh, display. So to display the extension, so like hello.xlsx, and you want to go to home. And actually you want to go to view, sorry the view if you're on windows 2010 you can just check the file name extensions uh, checkbox so make sure that's checked but otherwise you want to go to uh folder options and go to options and change folder and the search options and under view under the view tab you want to go down to look for uh let me see hide extensions for known file type so make sure that that's unchecked and click on OK. And once you do that, that will uh, display the file extension name. And next, uh, you want to change the extension name to uh, zip file. So change that to zip. And from that point of time, uh, you want to double click. This will show you all the XML file the uh, um, compile that creates the Excel file. And so you want to go down to the Excel folder, then go to the worksheets folder. And here we have two XML files and one is for the uh, worksheet A and the other one is for the customer worksheet. And grab these two files and make a copy and paste uh, in your folder, so anywhere in your folder. I'm using Notepad++. You can use any type of uh, text editor. Uh, even Notepad will work. And so open the uh, XML file with the Notepad. And here's what the uh, XML file looks like. And so you want to go down towards the end. So you want to look for uh, sheet protection. So this is the uh, sheet protection tag. And so you want to um, Copy from the beginning, so beginning of the sheet protection all the way to the end. So from scenario, uh, the end tag, and then just delete, uh, just hit delete. It should mean just double check. Okay. And save the file. And I'll do the same for the other worksheet. So let me open sheet two. And I'm going to open the file with a notepad. And you want to go down towards the end. And so remove the uh, sheet protection tag. And save the file. 
Now uh, let's go back to the uh, the zip folder. So what you want to do is you want to replace these two files with the existing files uh, in the zip file. So I'm just going to copy and paste over. And now that's finished. So I can close the zip folder window. And I don't need this two XML file anymore. So I can just delete, I can just delete these two files. Okay. And the last step is you want to change the extension, the zip extension back to uh, XLSX. And this will convert back the zip file back to Excel file. And now we open the Excel file. And if you go down to the worksheet, right click, you see that now the worksheet is being unprotected. So now if you want to make some changes, you know, like insert a new transaction ID, and you can do that now. So same with the worksheet A. You can type uh, hello world and so on. So this is basically the step that you will follow to break the worksheet password on Excel file. Again, I just want to emphasize that only break the uh, worksheet password when it's necessary and make sure that you have the ownership of the files that, that you work on. So this is everything I want to show you guys today. If you found this video useful, uh, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching and talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.